Okay, hello everyone, Mr. Lau here. Uh, today, what we're going through is uh, tutorial 6, okay, whereby we are looking at flow or velocity measurement. Okay, so let's look at the first question. So, water flows in the venturi meter as shown in figure 1, show that the velocity at 1 is given by this expression. Okay, so for this question, we are asked to prove this expression over here. So, what we are going to do first is actually to take uh, Bernoulli about point 0.1 and point 0.2. Okay, so we will apply the Bernoulli equation about 1 and 2. Okay, so P1 over rho G plus C1 square over 2G plus Z1. Okay, so this is the equation. So since 1 and 2 are at the same level, so the potential heat will be the same or 0. Cancel out one another. Okay, so we are going to shift all the velocity terms to one side. So C1 square over 2G minus C2 square over 2G is equal to P2 over rho G minus P1 over rho G. Okay. So in this case, uh, we realize that we have C1 and C2 on the left. Okay, however, if you look at the expression, they only need C1. Okay, that means we need to replace my C2. So how can we replace C2? Okay, very simple. What we can do is to apply the continuity between 1 and 2. So continuity means that the volumetric flow rate Q1 is equals to Q2. So which is also A1 C1 is equals to A2 C2. So we can express C2 in terms of C1. So it will be A1 over A2 C1. Okay. And according to the definition here, M is the ratio of A1 to A2. So I can replace this with M C1. Okay. Can. Okay. So with that, we can actually substitute away the C2. Okay, another thing is that uh, on the right-hand side, it's actually given in terms of the pressure, P2 and P1. However, if you look at the equation here, it's given in terms of Y1 and Y2. Y1 and Y2 is actually the height of uh, this uh, open manometer. Okay, so what we can do here is we can express P1 as rho G Y1 and P2 as rho g y2 okay so together we have the first equation the second the third and the fourth okay so what we are going to do is we are going to substitute equation 2 3 and 4 into 1 okay can so we are going to replace the c2 so this will be C1 square over 2G minus M square C1 square over 2G. Okay, and on the right hand side, this will be rho G Y1 over rho G, sorry, Y2 over rho G minus rho G Y1 over rho G. Okay, so I'll do some cancellation. Okay, in this case, uh, the rho g and rho g can cancel. Rho g and rho g can cancel. Okay, so over here I'll factorize out the c1 square. So c1 square okay, will be uh, after I factorize out c1 square, I also can factorize out the 2g over 2g. Okay, so inside left with 1 minus m square. Okay, and on the right is y2 minus y1. Okay, shift all the remaining terms to the right side. So C1 square will be uh, will be 2G Y2 minus Y1 Okay, over 1 minus M square Okay, bring the square over, become square root Okay, so on top of that, I can also switch uh, the position of Y1 and Y2 M and 1 
by removing the negative sign. So factorize out negative, factorize out negative, cancel. Okay, so it becomes y1 minus y2 over m squared minus y. Shown. Okay, so this is how we show this expression. Again, for part A. Okay, how about part B? So part B, uh, we know that y1 is equal to 20, y2 is equal to 10. Diameters at 1 and 2 are 50 mm and 25 mm respectively. Okay, calculate the actual flow rate if the coefficient of this charge is 0.9. So basically what we can do here is just to apply the formula that we have derived just now. Okay, so for part B, C1 will be putting in the values 2 times 9.81 times y1 minus y2 in I change it to meters so this will be 0 0.1 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 over your m square m square today is the ratio of the area okay so m is actually equals to a1 over a2 okay so a1 is given as pi over 4 d1 square and a2 will be pi over 4 d2 square so this is actually d1 square over d2 square so d1 in this case is given to be 50 mm so 50 square over 25 square okay in the in this case i can leave it at mm because uh, the units will cancel off so this will be 50 square over 25 square and the whole thing remember to square again because it's m squared okay minus one and this will give you the velocity of 0 0.3617 meter per second okay so <coughs> what will be the actual flow rate so actual flow rate okay is given by the theoretical flow rate theoretical flow rate is a1 c1 but because you want the actual flow rate so you must multiply by the coefficient of discharge okay okay so today coefficient charge is 0 0.9 a1 is pi over 4 50 over 1000 square times 0 0.3617 okay so in this case this will give us the value that we want which is 6.39 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube per second and if you want a neater value you can change it to liter per second okay Okay, so in this case, uh, this is what we have for question number one. <coughs> okay, next, uh, for question two, okay, what we have here, again, almost similar, we have a venturi meter, okay, with an inlet and outlet, okay, 150mm and 75mm respectively, petrol of specific gravity of 0 0.78 flow through meter at the rate of 39.6 liter per second okay so we are asked to calculate the uh, pressure difference between the inlet and the outlet okay so for this chapter very simple we are just going to apply Bernoulli again so let me label one and two okay so I will apply Bernoulli across one and two okay so write down the formula the pressure head the velocity head the potential okay, same thing on the right hand side okay so since point one and two are at the same level so z1 z2 can cancel off okay and so today we want the pressure difference okay so i'll bring the pressure to the left hand side so p1 minus p2 over rho g is equal to right hand side i'll leave as a velocity 1 over 2 g c2 square minus c1 square okay can do a cross multiplication so leaving only p1 p2 on the left so cross multiply up this will be half rho c2 square minus c1 square okay so to get the pressure difference what we need here is actually the c2 and c1 okay 
So how do we get C2 and C1? Okay, it's based on the flow rate. Flow rate is 39.6. Okay, so flow rate is 39.6 liter per second. Again, let's change it to SI unit. 0 0.0396 meter cube per second. Okay, so we apply the flow rate formula. So A1C1 is equal to 0 0.0396. So A1 is pi over 4. D1 square, D1 diameter is 150 mm, change it to meters. C1 is 0 0.0396. So the C1 here, okay, you can calculate it to be 2.241 meters per second. Okay, so we are going to do the same for the other side, which is A2C2, also same value because of continuity. So pi over 4, 75 over 1000 square, C2 is equal to 0 0.0396. Okay, so again, we can work out our C2 to be 8.964 meters per second. <coughs> so we have our C2 and our C1. Okay, so we can start to work out the values. So P1 minus P2. Okay, therefore P1 minus P2 is half. Density. Today we need the density of the petrol. So the density is given by the specific gravity. Okay, 0 0.78 multiplied by the density of water, which is 1000. Okay, C2 is 8.964 square minus C1 is 2.241 square. And with that, we can get the value 29,376 newton per meter square. Or you can leave it in Pascal. Okay, so this is P1 minus P2. And then they are asking for the pre the difference of mercury levels okay, in the YouTube manometer. So this is part A, part B. So how do we get the manometer? So applying the concept that we have learned previously, let's label this 3 and 4. Okay, Pressure or the same height of the same fluid must be the same okay therefore we consider pressure at point three and four okay we consider pressure at point three and four so pressure at three okay will be due to the pressure at one p1 plus this amount okay this height Okay, and let me label this height as maybe P, P, F. Okay, because this P, F is actually going to be the same as this P, F. Oh, the pressure due to this height of uh, petrol. Okay, so P, F plus again this height. Okay, and so this height is due to the X x uh, meters of this petrol column okay so we can use rho of the petrol g times x okay then on the right hand side same thing p2 plus this column pf again see and then this column of mercury so this is plus rho mercury gx okay so why i label this as pf because uh, eventually they can cancel off Actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, but I'm just putting it in so that uh, you can understand that the true pressure here, okay, is also uh, contributed by this PF. Just that in this equation, the PF on the left and the right will cancel off eventually. Okay, so today uh, we ha we need to work out my x. So let me put my x to one side. So rho. Uh, let me see, uh, row of this petrol, or uh, row of this uh, mercury, GX minus row of this petrol, GX is equals to P1 minus P2. Okay, so factorize on my X, so row MG minus row PG times X is equals to P1 minus P2. Okay, so x will be 
P1 minus P2 over rho mg minus rho pg. Okay, sorry, I'm going to squeeze a bit. So P1 minus P2 is the 29,376 that we calculated previously. Rho of mercury will be 13,600 times 9.81 minus away. Rho of the petrol is 0 0.78 times 1,000, right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 780 times 9.81 okay and so eventually here you will get your 0 0.238 meters okay sorry I got to squeeze a bit here oh, so but uh, the the strategy is the same okay we consider the pressure of the same height of the same fluid at the same point so 3 and 4 is the same so we just plug in the values make x the subject and then you sub in whatever is on the right hand side okay can so that's it for question number two <coughs> okay next uh, moving on to question number three so question number three uh, we have this orifice meter, okay, can measuring the flow. So we are supposed to show the flow rate of the pipe is given as this. Okay, so concept still the same, strategy still the same. We are going to apply Bernoulli across one and two. So applying Bernoulli across one and two. Sorry. Okay, so apply it across 1 and 2, so let me write down P1 over rho G plus C1 square over 2G plus Z1 is equals to P2 square over rho G, sorry, no square here, plus C2 square over 2G plus Z2. Okay, so this is Bernoulli across 1 and 2. So same thing, since 1 and 2 are the same height, okay, there will be, there won't be this potential head, so I'm left with the remaining so since I need the volumetric flow rate on the left okay so let me make the velocities to one side so this will be 1 over 2 G C1 square minus C2 square okay and on the right will be 1 over rho G times P2 minus P1 okay and so in this case, uh, this is the this is this is what we have, and interestingly, you see that uh, we are given h. What is h? H is actually the pressure head difference between one and two. Okay. Oh, so this h is the pressure head difference, ah. So that means to say this whole term over here, okay, can be replaced by h. Okay, in fact, it should be negative h. Huh? Okay, negative h because uh, it's between 1 and 2. Lah. But over here is P2 minus P1. Okay, I can bring the 2G across also. So 2G, so left hand side is C1 square minus C2 square. Okay, then. So again, uh, we need the volumetric flow rate. We are not done yet. Okay, we only need one of the C's, so we have to replace the other C by applying the continuity. Okay, we can apply the continuity equation. So today, the continuity equation, it will be A1C1 is equal to A2C2. Okay, so uh, I will just replace C2. So this is A1 over A2C1. Okay, can so over here equation one and equation two. Oh, I will sub two into one. <coughs> okay, so this will be C one square minus A one over A two square C one square is equal to negative two G H. Okay, 
Yeah. And then uh, we can factorize out the C1 square. Inside is left with 1 minus the ratio square. A1 over A2 again defined by M. So this will be M square. Negative 2 GH. Okay. So we can take the C1 and put it to the other side. So it's 2 GH over M square minus 1 with a square root. Okay, so the negative and I take out the negative here to change it to m square minus 1. So the negative and negative will cancel. So you don't see the negative appearing again. Okay, can so this is my C1. Okay, so to get the volumetric flow rate, okay, V dot in this case. Okay, again the actual one, so you'll be C D A1 C1. Okay, so C D a1 times square root of 2gh over m square minus 1. Okay, so shown. Okay, so we have shown what they want us to show. Okay, so the second part, <coughs> okay, bye bye. They want us to put in the numbers. Okay, in the da da da, the diameter of the pipe, orifice are 250 and 100 respectively. And discharge is 0.65, head difference is 760 of mercury. Okay, calculate the flow rate. Okay, so <coughs> we can calculate the flow rate by using back the same equation. So V dot is equals to CD will be 0.65. Okay, A1, okay, pi over 4 times 250 over 1000 square. Okay, square root of 2g, 2 times 9.81. Okay, and, and then h. Okay, h will be something more tricky because we have actually defined h here. But what is h? Okay, this h here, okay, refers to the pressure head difference between 1 and 2. Okay with respect to water uh, water okay because we have applied this Bernoulli okay for the water so this H here is the pressure head of water okay can but the 760 difference okay between here and here okay the head difference is in terms of mercury so we got to convert this 760 mm of mercury into into water. Okay, so how can we do that? Okay, actually very simple because in terms of pressure, they must be the same. Okay, so we start off with P equals to P. Okay, so if we look at pressure in terms of mercury, it will be rho m g times 760 over 1000. Correct. If I express it in terms of mercury, it will be this. If I express it in water, it will be rho, water, g, and big H. So these two will give the same value. Okay. So the g, you can cancel off. So the H, eventually will be rho, m, over rho, water, times 0 0.76. So you, you can see that this rho m over rho water is what? It's actually the specific gravity of 13.6. Okay, so this is how we find our h. Okay, so this is our h. <coughs> so I'm going to put in my h which is 13.6 times 0 0.76 over m okay m just now we have already shown you can just use the diameter of the inlet over the diameter of the outlet square whole thing square minus one and if you plug in the values press in the calculator you will get what you need okay okay so for this particular part just have to be careful of how you define the h Okay, can. Okay.
10 and the h that is given is different huh? okay so that's it for question number three okay last one question number four okay so question number four uh we are asked to show this okay for this pitot tube okay so point one and two so concept again the same we we'll apply Bernoulli across one and two okay so write down the formula p1 over rho g plus c1 square over 2g plus z1 is equal to p2 over rho g plus c2 square over 2g plus z2 okay so same height no uh, potential head okay so another thing is because this is a pitot tube okay so the air at point one okay is bring to a complete stop that means the velocity here is zero so this will be zero okay can so we are left with this and again based on the expression they want to derive we want c so let me put c 2 square over 2g to one side and remaining will be p2 over rho g minus p1 over rho g okay okay and then uh, i will just make c2 square the subject okay so if i make c2 square the subject okay before that actually i can cancel away the g okay because all of them are the same so this will just be 2 over rho times p2 minus p1 okay the rho here refers to the rho of air yeah just write it down okay so however if you see it's not similar yet because over here there's no pressure term but here there's a pressure term okay so we must apply something from this manometer to substitute away the pressure term okay so we make use of the manometer concept so again label 3 and 4 okay can so we will consider the pressure at 3 and 4 all right so pressure at 3 okay this spike due to p1 okay plus the height okay from here to here okay i call it pf again 